don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This what a BMG niggas do. They get big racks, you feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. What's good, Stella Gang? It's your boy Upperclass and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction Channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A for y'all. Because people been asking me a whole lot of questions. I see y'all comment a lot and y'all want to know certain things. So I posted on Instagram, like, yo, comment some questions y'all want me to answer. And I'll answer them for y'all in the QA. So I'm going to go in the Instagram comments now. And look, look. See, it's a whole bunch of comments. Like, oh man. But I'm not about to answer all these questions. It's like way too many questions. You feel me? I'm going to answer until we up to like 10 minutes, man. You hear it? Uh, was you 10 minutes? I'm, I'm, I'm done. This is um. This person said, "You get tired of people saying you woo K." <laughs> Yo, you know what's funny though? I think people get it now, cause I'm like, I'm like popular enough in this city for people to know. I right, yo, he's not woo K, and what he throw up is not woo K. It's BMG. You feel what I'm saying? So I know niggas already have the common sense. To know, I right, yo, upper is BMG and he throw up BMG. Because if all the woo niggas know that I'm not woo K and I'm throwing up BMG, how the hell the fans don't know that? You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's just some. So, I think niggas just be commenting that type of shit just to get under my skin and be annoying. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you throwing up woo K? They just want to be, you feel me? Or it could just be the cops, like I be saying, they like to comment and try to mix people in gang shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, it could be that. My favorite place to travel. I don't really have a favorite place. I don't have a favorite place to travel, actually. I have been a lot of places, though, but I don't have a favorite place to travel. But I do want to go to Thailand and shit like that, though. But I don't have a favorite place to travel. I'm going to react to Rico songs again. Who the fuck is Rico? I think that maybe she meant Rocco. But anyways, when I'm a react, so is that really a question? Like niggas ask me, let's skip that question, bro. That's a dumbass question. Do you plan on doing something with Famo? We need it. I mean, Famo cool and all that shit, but niggas ain't never spoke about no music and shit like that. So it's not like yo, we're, we were planning to do a feature and that. We just ha was having that conversation on live where he's talking about it. Like, yo, if we was to do a song, like it'll go crazy because people would want to see that and shit. But we never actually sat down on our own time and say, yo, let's do a track and shit. So I don't know. It's, it's not impossible. It's not like it can't happen, but I'm not thinking about, you feel me? Or oh, I'm sure he probably not thinking about feature either so why do people think you crib I think like I like this first question with the woo shit I think people know that I'm not crib you feel what I'm saying they know they just want to be annoying like you feel what I'm saying and then if some people do think I'm crib it's maybe because like who my friends are like you know I got a lot of friends that's crib you know AI, Johnny Cash, all these niggas, my man's and them, and they rap too, and they rap they shit in their music, so now niggas see me and them together, it's like, oh shit, oh, he be chilling with that nigga, he chill with that nigga, oh, he fuck with Costamato and them, oh, all these niggas that he cool with his crib, I never really see him with folk niggas, so they just say, ah, right, yo, you crib, you feel me, but I'm not crib and shit, you know what I'm saying, and like, the reason why you probably won't see a folk nigga around me is, it might, it's not because of me, it's mostly because of them, because a lot of these niggas wouldn't want to be around me because they mans might say, oh, yo, you chilling with this nigga? Oh, yo, you are up, oh, yo, you know, shit like that, so that's probably why you won't be seeing certain niggas around me, but, like, there's a lot of folk niggas that I know personally, I see them and we see each other say what up and shit, shit like that, we cool and shit like that, you know I mean? Favorite rapper and favorite drill rapper. My favorite rapper is Kendrick Lamar. And like Brooklyn drill rapper. It's it's hard, bro, for me to say my favorite Brooklyn drill rapper. I, I like I like I like Sleepy. I like Busy. Yeah, I like Sleepy and Busy and shit. Or rock with them niggas. Yo, Mari! Fuck, man. 
favorite NFL and NBA team? Um, I don't watch football, so I don't have a favorite NFL team, but my favorite NBA team is Boston Celtics. You feel me? Shout out to the Boston. The Boston Celtics. Do you go to college? Nah. Nah, I'm not a, I'm not a, nah, college is not for me, you feel me? Like, yeah, school is for certain people, but not everybody. And I'm one of those not everybody type of niggas. I don't, I'm not going to college, bro. I feel like college is a scam, you feel me? You paying to get a piece of paper and still end up not getting that job. You didn't pay all this money and put yourself in debt. Nah. You could you can become you can become wealthy rich without going to college it's it's crazy because almost everything you need to know is on youtube like real nigga shit you can learn to build a motherfucking farm this little nigga's mad annoying like i'm about to go in there and turn the game off on me think this is a game yo mari next time i gotta tell you i'm gonna come in there and turn that game off Do you got any Cho or Wu friends? Yo, I got friends on both sides, bro. I, like I said in the other question, I got friends on both sides. I mean, I got I got full friends and I got crib friends. I got blood friends. I got all type of friends, bro. I'm not affiliated, so I'm not stuck being cool with just one set of people. You feel what I'm saying? Or what gang do you jack? I answered that question already. Show us your hair. Yo, if you a nigga asking me to show my hair to you, like I've been saying to everybody, you're a fish. Don't ask me to show my hair. If Stella wasn't taking off shelves, what? What? If Stella was taking off shelves, what would I drink? I mean, Stella's not the only thing I drink. Like, Stella is just like, you know, Stella's, to me now, Stella became a soda. Like, you feel me? I drink this shit so much it became a soda. You feel me? But I drink liquor also, you feel what I'm saying? Stella's not the only thing I drink. But I'm not gonna be on, on YouTube making mad videos drinking different, like drinking liquor all the time. I'm be drunk. So Stella's just calm. So I could drink two, three Stella's and film, you feel me? And I'd be good, you know what I'm saying? But I drink other shit too. So if Stella got taken off the shelf, I drink, like for beer, I drink Bex. You got a beer called Bex or IPA. I drink those too. Feel me? Will you ever make a song with Breezy? <laughs> You're a funny nigga for that question, man. Shit. Lord knows what the future holds. I don't hate that kid, man. He just derelict. That's it. Do you work at a porn shop still <laughs> this nigga funny whoever that was you an asshole nigga said do you work at a pawn shop still i never worked at a pawn shop nigga what you talk about <laughs> how do you feel about 268 our music you rock with it heavy or it's mid i mean he, he all right he do his thing he, all right i just i can't really like y'all gotta understand i don't really listen to a lot of these niggas i just react to their shit Sometimes if I react to it and I really like it, I probably listen to it again on my own time. But most of these niggas' music, I don't really listen to on a day-to-day -day basis for me, do you feel me? But for as far as the songs that I reacted to, yeah, he be doing his thing. How did the situation with you and Kai Structure start? And is it still on site with him? This Q&A, we're going to keep it positive, man. Are you going for the dreads again? Who knows? What was the best part and worst part of your experience being locked up in the dog pound? First of all, there's no best part of being locked up. Like, real nigga shit, there's no best part. You know what I'm saying? Like, the worst part of being locked up is being locked up. So there's no best part of being locked up. The only thing I could say that came out good of when I did get locked up before, like it wised me up to not do certain stupid shit that I was doing before because I don't want to be in that type of situation. I like to be free. I want to go to the store when I want to go to the store. I want to take a shower when I want to take a shower. I want to eat when I want to eat. You feel me? I want to jump in my car and drive somewhere. You feel me? Anybody want to be locked up and somebody else like a punk ass CEO telling you what to do all the time and shit. I don't got no time for that shit, man. 
how did you and your girl meet? <laughs> that's a story that we got to, that's a question that I got to answer during the Q&A with her. I think I answered that in the Q&A already. Y'all got to watch this shit. Or, or they from, or, nah, just think it. Who do you think is the worst thing, Blicky or Breezy? <laughs> Who do I think is the worst out of staying Blicky, Blicky and Breezy? <laughs> Stain Blicky worse than Breezy. Breezy better than Stain Blicky. How you come up with the name Upper Class and how did you get the name Easy in the Streets? My name Upper Class, I right, my rap name used to be Easy Mills, right? Then Meat Mills came out. And I was like, nah, I can't keep my name as Easy Mills because I'm going to look like I'm buying off of Meek Mills. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm going to change my name and shit. And the reason why I got the name Upper Class because, like, for me, growing up, I always like high-end shit. For me, like, I always bought high-end shit or whatever. You feel me? So that's where the name Upper Class came. And it just been here for years. So I just, you know what I mean? I, I grew out of wanting all of my high-end shit and buying all them shit. So I grew out of it. I still buy it, but not as much as before. My name is still upper class because I, I live live different from a lot of niggas, you feel me? If I keep coming at my Zoles crazy, man. Shout out to the Zoles, man. I rock with the Zoles, you heard? Sak passe, man. Pose, partner. Why don't you react to your mans like Jay Knight and A.I.D. and others? Um, I don't react to the homies because, you feel what I'm saying? That's the homies, you know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't want to react to my homie shit straight like that, you feel what I'm saying? Like... My homies already know. I don't. I just don't want to react to the homie shit. That's it. You know what I'm saying. That's it. Word. If you could get with any female celebrity, who would it be? I am from my celebrity crush is Megan. Megan Good. You feel me? What sports have you done in high school? I used to play ball. PlayStation and Xbox. PlayStation. What's your relationship with Fame No Homo? Niggas is cool. Like, niggas is cool. No problem with Fame No Niggas is cool and shit. You got money. You know? Do you plan on reacting to people outside of New York platform? Girls like, yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely do that already. I react to UK niggas, Canadian niggas. I react to a lot of other shit too. Top five Brooklyn drill rapper in your opinion? Y'all niggas asked me that question way too much. I didn't answer that question on Instagram live, on YouTube live. Like, I'm not about to answer that again. When you doing a meetup, 100K. Favorite artist, Kendrick Lamar. I already said that. In, yeah. Would you ever put your kids in a YouTube video? And they've been in my videos before. Any funny stories about, any funny stories about or with Bobby? Free him. I mean, I ain't got no real funny stories and shit with this nigga. You know what I mean? I don't, not that I recall, like, I don't got no funny stories that I remember with bro shit. But bro's a funny nigga regardless, but I don't remember no funny story. Like, I can remember no funny story up there. Favorite NFL team, NBA team, I already answered that. What part of Brooklyn you from? Flatbush. Were you really crip? Why do niggas keep worrying about stupid shit like that, bro? Like, how many times do I have to tell niggas, like, niggas be worried about stupid shit? When do you think Breezy touches first band? I really don't care. Do you and Fama ever plan on meeting in person? Yeah, I'm like, me and Fama would definitely do that boxing shit, because a lot of y'all niggas too scared to do it. But we, we, gotta get, we gotta get some money behind that. Do you and Fama, uh, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, I answered that already. When am I gonna get a mod? Never, I don't know who you are. Will you ever become cool with Breezy Blakey? Anything is possible in life, you feel me? No, I, he ain't do shit to me, I ain't do nothing to him. It's just right now, everything is just verbal. So, yeah. Everything is, I mean, shit should change with time. People wise up, you know? I don't hate that kid, he's just dirty, like I said before. What's what's your goal with the YouTube on life general? And we gotta take this show all the way to the top because the only way is up. Upper class is gonna take it all the way up. You get me? What were you doing before YouTube? Get money. Did you think you would make this far? 
Yeah, I always knew. I always had faith in myself. I always knew. Like, I've been told everybody that know me niggas tell you that. I always knew I was going to get laid off this shit. I was already lit before this channel, so I already knew. How do you feel about crooked reactions? I ain't on front. That nigga, he a copycat. And, like, he not really original and shit. But I don't really care about the nigga that much. But he just annoying with the copycat shit. That's it. I don't got a problem with the nigga, like. I just noticed, you know, all right, yo, niggas look up to you. Niggas want to be like you. It's cool. Shit like that. You know, I'm going to keep it 100. Niggas ask me a question. I ain't going to beat around the book. I'm going to give you a fucking answer. Did you expect to come this far on YouTube? Damn, everybody asking the same question. Thoughts on Crackers violating Bobby Schmurder? I mean, we actually knew that was going to happen. Anybody with common sense knew that was going to happen. They want the full time from that nigga. They know, we knew that. What's your favorite basketball? I really answer that. Favorite local rapper, ready to answer that. Tell Cookie Face to show a band. Would you rather be a ginger or being able to show a band? What? Would you rather be a ginger or not being able to show a band? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> Neither. Yo, it's crazy. I actually did most of y'all the questions like so i skipped a lot of questions but i actually did most of the questions just now but anyway if y'all want another video like this y'all got more questions y'all want to ask me i could do a part two to the q a or whatever you feel me if y'all got ideas for other videos that y'all want to see me do and shit y'all let me know too man don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell notification so you're notified every time i drop a new video see boy up class after you subscribe remember this Whenever you watch my videos, it's all jokes, man. You gotta come over here and get a laugh. Don't hate me because I gave you a low rating. Hate yourself because you ain't make a fire song. <laughs> it's your boy BMG, man. Good. Bow!